What is good YouTube, Fibonacci here, and I'm going to be doing my NFL Week 4 predictions. So two quick things before I get into my predictions. Uh, one, I am not wearing my uh, jersey because, uh, you know, with the whole Titans and Steelers game being postponed, uh, since this is our bye week technically, or I guess we won't have a bye week, uh, that was when I was not going to wear my jersey, so that's why. Uh, that's probably unrelatable and nobody really cares about that. Um, but the second thing is going to be... Um, format related when it comes to the predictions videos i've been doing a lot of editing with them i've been just like giving my opinion and all that i've been saying like who i think is going to win uh and then i basically you know i have to edit a lot so what i'm going to do here and hopefully for the next uh, all of all the other prediction videos uh considering nobody's been watching them anyway i don't think it really matters but uh this is just going to help me and be easier on me um i'm not going to i'm just going to run through it unedited i'm just going to say you know who's playing who and who's you know who i pick uh without any like skips and all that so uh i don't know if that really makes sense to you uh considering nobody's watching these anyway right now uh but that this is going to be the week that i do that not going to be too many edits in this video uh and if you enjoy that better then hopefully and hopefully it's a lot faster we'll see um but yeah I'm just going to get into it, starting off with tonight's, because yes, today is Thursday, and we are like literally 15 minutes away from kickoff, so uh, hopefully I can get this video uploaded and done before then, uh, it might be during it though, but Broncos, Jets, uh, seems like the Jets don't want to win at all, so I picked the Broncos to win, uh, Saints, Lions, uh, I picked the Saints to win because the way they lost last week, I feel like they have a little bit of redemption, uh, even though the Lions are, you know, they did finally win, and uh, they have some pretty good momentum going on their side still pick the saints to win because alpha camera could probably take uh you know freaking 10 80 yard screens from drew Brees' dead arm all the way to the end zone and score 10 touchdowns so yeah pick the saints uh B buccaneers chargers i picked the buccaneers to win because tom brady uh gronk all of them uh seem like they're finding a groove finally and then plus you still have like godwin that's going to be coming back i think um it, you know all that kind of stuff the weapons they have the defense is still like top 10 uh and the chargers still have the rookie quarterback that they're uh, trying to play um all that kind of stuff just uh, i i picked the buccaneers uh, i feel like more is in their favor Bengals uh suffered the terrible tie last week so i feel like they're out to at least try to get a win for joe burrow uh i think they have not won yet i think they're like oh two and one so it's just it, that sucks uh <laughs> i feel bad for them uh they really need to protect them a lot more uh but yeah uh we'll see though the jaguars they seem like they're going to be that like you know that team that just comes in there and just kind of knocks out a team uh here and there uh like for example the first and second week where everybody thought Jaguars are going to tank this season, and they ended up coming out pretty strong. So we'll see what happens. I think the Bengals will win, though. Texans, Vikings. Uh, the Texans played the Steelers last week. That was a pretty close game. I feel like we could have potentially lost that game, uh, but our defense held out during the second half. So thank you. Uh, but these two teams are both 0 and 3. Somebody's got to win, and I feel like the Texans just have a better quarterback and just a better team overall. Uh, not a better coach though, uh, <laughs> or GM. Uh, but yeah, I think the Texans are going to win. Seahawks, Dolphins, uh, see, you got Russell Wilson, he is battling Aaron Rodgers for uh, pretty much MVP this season, it seems like, so far, uh, and I feel like with how how good they are doing, and uh, with Metcalf doing what he did last week, uh, that was kind of a teaching moment, so that probably won't happen no more, and, uh, you know, more bombs away to him, and even though the Dolphins, I feel like, do have a pretty good defense, uh, they probably aren't going to be able to stop Russell Wilson, because he is, he's almost unstoppable, so pick the Seahawks to win Browns Cowboys this one I originally picked the Cowboys but then I uh, after re after reevaluating both teams and pretty much thinking about how much uh, how, how the Browns won and basically just seeing seeing how together I feel like the Browns are I feel like they might be m more together as a team even though both teams are probably close I feel like uh, the Browns just might pull it off and uh, end up winning just because they, they I feel like they have a better run game too so yeah pick the Browns Cardinals Panthers uh, I'm sorry if you can hear the music out there it's my neighbors uh, across the street but yeah uh, so hopefully it's not, I hope it's not too loud but yeah Cardinals Panthers we have uh, as, as, after I, I picked the Cardinals to win last week I'm surprised they didn't win even though it was pretty close Panthers uh, I feel like they uh, also with Teddy Bridgewater and everything um, 
they got to win. I feel so bad because I keep picking against the Panthers, but I feel like I have, like, actual reasons to. Uh, like, for example, here I feel like the Cardinals with them losing last week, and I feel like they have a better defense. I think they're just going to come out and win this game. Uh, and then now we have Bears-Colts. This one's interesting because we have, like, the number one defense going against a team that basically benched their, <laughs> you know, benched their starter uh, for... Uh, Mr. Nick Foles, so uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I picked the Bears to win because I think their defense also is really good, and uh, I think Nick Foles just brings a different energy to that team. So I think they're going to come out and just just win. Uh, also, now we have the Ravens Washington team. This one, I I mean, the Ravens are not going to take that loss last week to the Chiefs. Well, so I think they're going to come out here and just reestablish who they were the first two weeks uh, against the Washington team. So I picked the Ravens. Rams Giants uh <laughs> I don't know how but the, I picked the Giants last week because you know they went against a team that pretty much didn't have anybody um on their team at, at all uh <laughs> so I I just can't believe that they uh, lost by by how much they lost too and uh, also the stat where um it seems like Daniel Jones has turned over the ball uh, in, in one game, or he's turned over the ball one at least once in every game except one in his career. That's not a good stat um, to have. And when you're going against Aaron Donald and Jalen Ramsey, that's just uh, that's looking for trouble for sure. So pick the Rams to win for sure. Uh, next game, Chiefs and Patriots. This one is a pretty good one too. This is almost like watching, uh, you know, the Ravens and Chiefs, even though the, uh, I mean, Patriots have Cam Newton now. So, I mean, I wouldn't really even say it's any different than having Tom Brady. Uh, you have a really good quarterback and then Bill Belichick and all that kind of stuff. Uh, you know, both defenses, I would say, are actually pretty even. I, I would say not. Neither one is pretty elite, but I would say both are pretty good. So this is going to be a good game, but I think the Chiefs are just out to dominate. And after how they uh, how they won last week and I picked against them last week, not going to pick, pick against them, I don't think, for the rest of the year. I don't even care if I feel like they are going to lose. Uh, I, yeah, I'm not going to pick against them unless I have an actual legitimate reason to. Uh, next, Bills, Raiders. Uh, but where both teams are doing really good. Um, but I feel like the Bills, when it comes to the Bills, Josh Allen brings that, uh, that running element more than uh, Derek Carr will. So I think that just might be the difference in this game. Uh, Josh Allen is going to be the difference. And he was like the AFC Offensive Player of the Month. So shout out to him. Bills Mafia doing good. Um, so yeah, pick the Bills one. And then now we have the Sunday night game, the 49ers and the Eagles. Uh, I tell you what, with the 49ers, even all the injuries they have, they have a few, I think, returning this week. And uh, since uh, it doesn't seem like the Eagles can get it together yet, I, I picked the 49ers to win because, yeah, it just doesn't seem like that side of Pennsylvania is is doing too good. So, you know, hopefully they can, hopefully Carson Wentz can figure it out. But so far, it's not looking too good on his part. And yeah, with the 49ers, their defense, even though you lost uh, who you lost, uh, all the all those good players, the way they dominated the uh, Giants last week, I would not uh, put it past them to do the same this week. Uh, so I picked the 49ers. And then the last game I think we have, what is it? Yeah, that's the last game we have. Packers, Falcons. Pick the Packers to win. As like I mentioned earlier, it seems like Aaron Rodgers and Russell Wilson are both trying to, uh, you know, win MVP this year. Uh, both of them are doing outstanding. I don't think Aaron Rodgers, I believe, has been and been sacked only twice, and he has uh, uh, no interceptions. I want to say. So I mean, when you're doing that, you're doing pretty good. Um, and then they're also going against the Falcons, who will uh, undoubtedly always find a way to lose no matter what. So, uh, And when you're going against the Packers, you don't even need to find a way to lose because you're going against the Packers. So, uh, yeah, pick them to win. Uh, that's a Monday night game also. Uh, and then I'm not sure if I mentioned the Steelers-Titans game because it's to be determined. Um, so, yeah. And there it is, all my predictions uh, circled in green. And there's the Steelers-Titans to be determined crossed out because, you know, unfortunate that I can't watch my team play this week. Those are my predictions, uh, all circled and everything. Like I said, if, uh, you know, if you think I got any of them wrong, let me know down below. Uh, if you... Uh, 
got the if you pick the same ones as me also let me know and let me know what your favorite team is i'm always interested in that like i said it doesn't really seem like i get too much views on these videos people don't really seem to care too much about predictions uh but this is just for me because honestly i just uh, i really want to see how well i do like i uh i don't know if i've mentioned yet that i've like so far this season i am 34 13 and 1 that damn one <laughs> uh that tie uh, eagles and Bengals, thank you. Um, but 34, 13, and 1, I would say, is not too bad. That is well above 500. And uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much what I'm doing, trying to see how well I do out of all the games this season. And uh, we'll see what happens by the end of it. And, we'll, yeah, we'll see if I end up being above 500. Let me know down below if you think I will end up being above 500 or if I will slowly slip below it and uh, <laughs> have a terrible ratio at the end. Let me know down below what you think, though, and I'll catch you guys in my other videos or my next prediction video. Till then, au revoir. And if you happen to enjoy the content, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to comment. Take it forever. Easy.